there, it's Kira. This is Evergreen Hall, one of our upper class living options. Let's go check it out. So this over here is the activity wing. Over here we have some meeting space, there's classroom space, as well as a computer lab and a fitness room. This is the Evergreen Hall front desk. This is where you'll swipe in whenever you come to the building. You'll also check your guests in here and if you ever have any packages, you'll pick them up here. Now let's go take a look at the different types of space. This is a four person apartment. That means there are four people living in this apartment. Inside this apartment, they have a common living space as well as a kitchen. Let's check out one of the bedrooms. So this is one of the private bedrooms in the four person apartment. As you can see, they have a bed as well as a desk in here. So this is a bathroom in an Evergreen Hall apartment. As you can see, there's a shower and there's a toilet in here as well as the sink and the vanity. This is a four person suite. Inside this space, there are four private bedrooms, a bathroom, and this common living area. There is no kitchen in this space, but it does come with a microwave and a mini fridge, and then there's a community kitchen down the hall that you can use. So this is one of the bedrooms in the four person suite. As you can see, there is a bed, a desk, a desk chair, and a dresser. This is a six person apartment. So there are six residents living in this apartment. All of the six-person apartments come with a common living space, and in that living space there are some chairs as well as a couch, and then it also comes with a kitchen. So all of the kitchens have a full-size refrigerator as well as a stove and an oven, and there's plenty of kitchen cabinets. So this over here is a private bedroom. All of the six-person apartments have two private bedrooms and two shared bedrooms. So in the private bedroom, you can see the resident will have a bed as well as a dresser, and then there's a desk and some additional storage space. There's also a closet in here. Let's check out the shared bedroom. So this is a shared bedroom. It comes with all the same furniture as the private bedroom. There's just one for each resident. And there's two closets in here so the residents don't have to share. Over here is the bathroom and there's two in the six person apartment. So there's only three residents sharing each bathroom. And that's the six person apartment. This is the only option if you'd like a shared bedroom in Evergreen Hall. This is the final type of space in Evergreen Hall. It's the studio apartment. In here, there's a kitchenette, a bathroom, and a bedroom. So this type of space is designed for one resident. Each wing in Evergreen Hall has a social lounge. In here, there's a TV and there's plenty of space to hang out with your friends. Each wing also has a study lounge. In here, there's plenty of space to study as well as a whiteboard if you need to write anything down. There are community kitchens located throughout Evergreen Hall. These are great if you don't have a kitchen. In here, there's a stove, an oven, and a microwave. Out here, we have some recreational space. As you can see, there's the Evergreen Hall pond. We have a basketball hoop. There's a barbecue grill. And there's a lot of space if you just want everyone to come out here and hang out. Well, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to the Central Housing Office.